So, continuing my uh, summer series of minor repairs on the old Keystone Cougar. Uh, in the last video where I fixed a leaky slide out, I, sh I sh showed you uh, a problem I was having here in the storage bay. Where uh, some of the wood had started to separate. I've taken the carpeting out so I can get a better look at it. But you can see how they assembled things was with uh, staples. So these staples have pulled away and caused a crack. Eventually it would just let go. Um, I tried beefing it up with uh, screws by running some screws in there, but that, that failed too. Probably because I drive on such rough roads when I'm boondocking. I go down quite washboard roads, so whatever's in here starts to bounce. Sort of compound the problem when I carry my uh, toolbox in that corner there. So I think I'm going to fix it in two ways. I'm going to take that toolbox and lighten the load quite a bit. Just put the, the tools I want. I may even move it to a, a different part of the rig. And I like to have tools handy so I'll probably get a lighter toolbox and just have the tools I always use. You know, screwdrivers and pliers and stuff. And I'm going to beef this up so I'm going to figure out how to beef this up on some kind of angle iron maybe so that uh, the bottom shelf rather than just being held with these little staples will have maybe a hanger so it'll have a lot more strength. Well, let me ponder that first for a while and come back. Okay I'm back with a plan. Hit the local Home Depot up myself some of these uh, six inch steel L brackets, um, some carriage bolts, some lock washers. So I'm going to drill, drill the hole through each of those and then I can bolt them to the top and the bottom board there and I'll add some uh, little uh, lock washer add this to the little uh, thread locker on that as well so they won't come loose. So I picked up myself five. I'm going to go three on the back and then one on each corner at the end there. Let's go underneath. I'll show you what I was faced with. Here we are underneath. Let's see. There's where I got the bolts coming through. And then there'll be a couple bolts up there as well. I think that should be plenty. Okay, I'll give you a look underneath here. So I've got my bolts all tightened up. There we go. Now I can put my underbelly cover back on. go. So I've got one on the corner here, three along the back, and another one on the other corner. So now I just need to pretty it up a bit. Go back to Home Depot. The other thing I may do is along the top here, I think I'm going to drive screws all the way along the top just so that doesn't pull off either, but I think I've stiffened it up quite a bit. Should do the job. Okay, well I'm becoming good friends with the Home Depot cashier. Anyway, <laughs> I picked myself up some uh, this rubber matting and a corner thing so I can uh, that top edge make it look pretty, all pretty, and I got some uh, particle board screws that I'll run along the, the top seam there. Make it look all nice. Okay, so I drove screws all along the top there. That's starting to get 
really nice and solid now. <laughs> cool. Woohoo! Finny! Got her all looking pretty now. Much stronger. I don't think I'm going to have any more problems with that. Okay, Angie's helping me out. He's testing if it'll hold a 20 pound beagle. Seems like it does. There must be something to eat in that toolbox. <laughs> oh well, on to the next task. Next little repair I have is with the fender skirting above the tires here. Um, it hasn't failed yet, but it's starting to look a little uh, dicey on some of these. Uh, you can see they're cracking. Cracks are starting to appear. A lot of times what happens is it cracks right around the screw. Um, the other side's worse than this side. So that's my next uh, minor repair to do. Figure out a way to beef those up. Got a few ideas. So I think what I'll do with these minor uh, summer repairs is I'll, uh, I'll put them all in one playlist. Then you can, someone comes along and they can watch them all at once. So, thanks for watching. Until next time, Ray from LoveyRV.com. Oh, nice. It's going to eat my electrical tape. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.